Greetings and welcome back to Civilization 5, the first few turns. Uh, last time we played with England, uh, this time we're going to play with the next civilization on the list, Indonesia. Now Indonesia is a civilization I, I like a lot uh, because it gives free happiness. Uh, it has candy, which replaces garden if I remember correctly, and gives uh, two faith extra from what garden gives, and then two extra faith for every for every relig religion other than yours that is in the city, something like that. And they get uh, two unique happiness resources in their first three cities. This means they get plus 24 happiness at the beginning of the game. Now their unit is not a crossbowman, so I don't like it at all. Great hero, Gaia Prime Minister of Mayak, and unifier of the Indonesian archipelago. <coughs> okay, now... This is a coastal, if I remember correctly, the first city doesn't need to be coastal, right? The first three coastal cities founded after the capital. Well, if you're founding coastal cities, why not found your first city as a coastal too? Now, I put it here instead of here, uh, just because I don't want to miss the first turn of production. And it doesn't seem like there is a lot of food in this... Uh, in this area particularly. Now we have the two ship, but I want a little extra food in the beginning of the game. Now hmm. I can work this. It's going to be like a two one settle to a two 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 settle to a two one four turns three turns I don't know. I think this is the correct tile to work. Yep. Okay, so Indonesia is pretty strong in both tradition and liberty. Uh, their strength in tradition is they don't need to build coliseums ever. And their strength in liberty is that they get uh, six extra happiness resources. Uh, and they get them instantly. They get them before anyone else does. For instance, uh, Egypt or... Uh, or the Celts are strong liberty sieves, but they get their uh, happiness resources uh, later on. But Indonesia gets them immediately. Now I'm going to put production focus. When this city grows, it will work this style. And then I'm probably going to force it to work a two-foot style. Even though I don't like this specific combination. We'll see. Maybe after pottery we do sailing. I think this is the tile to go to. Let's see. Now, I don't see forest here. Right, so you can see if there is forest here. For instance, here you can see forest. And there you can see extra forest on that tile. Though, one can say... Yeah. Okay, so this scout is going to scout there. This scout is going to scout there. Also, it's going to be built next turn. Yeah. Um, so after that, what are we doing? Are we going Liberty again? I played too many Liberty games uh, this last episode, so I'm going to go Tradition this time. This was probably a mistake. We'll go there then next time. Probably. We'll see. Um, next turn. Now, I don't want to buy any tile adjacent to me, even though I can, because they're all useless to me. And I can buy this tile. Work that instead of this one. And work this tile. And do a worker? No. We are going for a worker though, because I said we're going tradition. Uh, let's use the scout first to go there. Free pop. Nice. So we are forced to work this time. So we work this one. Doesn't seem like I saw. Should I go for settlers now? I can go this, this, to this. It's going to be a 10 production settler, but they're gonna be way, way earlier than the other ones. Though it's really good having a shrine as tradition. We are three population at turn five. We're spamming settlers. Um, yeah. I don't suggest this, but. Sometimes it's pretty strong getting those settlers early. 
And when you have a population ruin from 2 to 3, it's really, really strong. Nice, good choice. And we can find another pop ruin. Now we want to do this to this. So we might find another iron somewhere here. So we can buy it and work that instead of this one. Yeah, we're not getting food, so maybe we can buy this one or this one if they are in iron to get one extra production for our settlers. Now, they're pretty slow as you can see. They're 8 turns instead of the usual 6 or 5 because you're chopping forests and the like. Oh, mining, right. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Was it 6? Yeah. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. This is great. If we find more gold, we can even buy a worker. This is a great tradition start. Really great tradition start, guys. Beautiful. Hello, Dido. I'm gonna have four cities before you can say um, Dodo. Or what you Carthagians say. Okay, we're gaining a lot of gold because we're working this to copper. Uh, also, we don't have... Uh, our shrine doesn't cost gold anymore, right? Okay, let's uh, discover that city-state for extra gold. That is going to get us to 170 next turn, so we can buy a worker. We can send the worker on the mines. Get extra happiness. Oh, it's so fucking beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god, this tradition start. This is a one game already. Like, I would surrender if someone had this start against me. I mean, how can you know though? You can't know. So this is turn 12. So it might be culture. If we get culture in this fucking ruin, man, really. The gods of uh, tradition want us to win. We're not playing against the... <laughs> against human players, though. we're playing against the AI, so... Okay, um, I have to imp improve a mine for the setter construction. If I go there, this is for, for production, then next turn I can go there. Like, after it's done, I can go there, then I can go there. I think this is more production, and I don't really care about happiness. I'm going to have enough happiness. Okay, we want saving, because we want the fish. Uh, they buffed the fish in version 12, and when you get a fishing boat there, it keeps one production. Oh my god! It was a culture ruin. This is the best... This is the earliest you can get a culture ruin. The best tradition game I have ever had. What? Can I get a blowjob now too, please? Okay, so this is a good settler, right? And we just scouted there. There's a very low chance. One, two, three, four. Now, in version 12, I have the following sense. I think six city tradition is stronger than four city tradition. And the reason is that in version 12, there is a lot more happiness in buildings. Um, zoo is three happiness, which makes it worth, worth building. Then the constabulary, where is the constabulary now? Is it somewhere here? The constabulary. Where is the constabulary? It's here, it gives one happiness. And when you're playing tradition, usually at this point you're ahead of tech from liberty. So you might want to build one of those in your capital. And yeah, it's pretty low production. Then after that, police station gives two happiness. So you can build that too in your ha capital. It's a little bit of happiness for your capital. You, know, you can easily build buildings. Instead of uh, one unit, you can build these two. And then the stadium is for happiness in its city. Now, you don't go refrigerator um, a lot of the times when you're playing tradition. But if you're playing tradition, you can be playing for internet. You can be playing for tourism. You can be playing for uh, Sydney Opera House. Uh, tourism is stronger in tradition. A lot of people say it's stronger in liberty, but the strength of tourism in tradition, in my opinion, is that you can... You want culture anyways, as tradition. Uh, any bit of culture you get is stronger than liberty. 
Now, six cylinder addition, guys. Really? No, no, no fucking joke. It's pretty strong. It was the old meta too. Uh, six six cylinder addition was the old meta, and it changed because uh, of uh, of early wars and stuff like that. Because tradition couldn't build six cities uh, that early and have and had problems with liberty, spam cities, and happiness. What can I do with this code now? I can buy another scout to protect my settlers. I can wait to buy something in my other cities. I wanted to scout there, so I went there and then I go there. Right. Okay. Um, what if I do another two settlers immediately? Like make uh, a factone of coastal cities as tradition and go tradition aesthetics exploration. So many ruins. This is a very strong start, guys. Very strong. I really like it a lot. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at this. It says five turns. It's gonna be four. We're gonna have it by turn 19 because we're settling a city on turn 16 as tradition. Oh my god. Probably the best game of my life. <laughs> okay. Do we care about this? We do not care about this. Um, we don't need that though. This is mining. This is trapping. This is sailing. We have that. This is sailing. One, two, three. You can settle here. But I need... Um, I need military units to kill that. One, two, three. He's never going to get this though. And this is a city with two luxury resources. So if we go... Okay, we can. We should land that. One, two, three. But if we do, we can't plant. We can plant here. Not work that. Hope it grows to that later to get the extra happiness. We're not having a starved anyways. But we can plant this one instead. That has more rivers and has a garden. Then we can plant this one. We can scout more there probably. Okay, what if I build this city and buy a scout here? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, so let's do trapping for the happiness. Because I'd be, I would be wanting happiness after that start. Uh, Narcer, very nice. So we go there. We go there. Oh boy. If I go here, we will fucking go either here or there. But yeah. Now, is this city better than this one? No, I can go there and buy the horses. Yeah. And then... Uh, obviously... Do a shrine here? <laughs> We're doing a shrine. Nice, okay. So, we are going to buy the scout in two turns. Um... So she wants to give me happiness. She wants to give me... Okay, I'll just trade happiness for gold. Normally you get for happiness for this resource. But against AI... Oh, nice. Free ruin. This got a population ruin. 